much, but there is some snow on the way tonight. Yeah, we're going to get a, a little bit. looks like a couple of inches coming through overnight. And I think tomorrow morning, some delays and, and I don't think cancellations, but I got yelled at last time I said this, so I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I, I think it feels like it should be like a, maybe a couple of delays tomorrow, but we'll take a look at the weather and you can decide. How about that? 37 in Portland for a high today, 35 in Bangor. Coco noted earlier is true. It was still breezy, so it didn't feel quite as mild as maybe the 37 would make you think just looking at that surface temperature. Here's our next system. It is basically a clipper, so it's coming in from the Great Lakes right now, and these clippers are generally pretty well modeled. They don't have as much uh, dynamics with them, so there's not as much going on with evolution over the ocean and all that, and so you're just moving this precip shield basically west to east. You can see it's starting to saturate in through western Vermont, so we still have several hours left before it gets into Maine. This computer model thinks that's around 9 to 11 o'clock tonight, depending uh, on your location. That's western and southern Maine, and the mid-coast around midnight. And we quickly saturate, and we're able to accumulate pretty efficiently, meaning, you know, sometimes it'll be 34, 35 degrees when it starts snowing. You lose that front edge of the snow. This is not like this. It'll be below freezing right from the get go. And so we'll be able to accumulate uh, immediately on the roadways. And that will be the case through tomorrow morning. Now, I think over York and Cumberland County, we probably get this thing out of here by the morning commute. I mean, it depends when you leave, I guess. But let's say seven o'clock. I think we're down to snow showers. Meanwhile, the mid coast through Augusta, Waterville, into maybe about Bar Harbor. It's still snowing through the morning, so it'll be a little bit rougher there than it will be over southern and western Maine. Either way, we get this thing out of here by about 10 a.m., and we're in good shape through the afternoon. And then we're quiet over the weekend, just a couple of snow showers on Saturday, temperatures around freezing there. So Todd, um, this morning, added a 3 to 5-inch zone through the mid coast just because we'll see a little trough kind of reaching back in here so we could see some localized enhancement i think most of us though will fall in that one to three zone and then north of bangor a dusting to an inch a couple snow showers saturday as that storm misses to our south it's quiet another uh, snow shower possible on monday we get mild through wednesday and thursday perhaps into the mid 40s and then there's something funky going on here that i i think gives us a chance for a storm late next week i just don't know exactly what it looks like yet you probably didn't think about this, but my mind is a strange place. Least snowy Februarys. We haven't had any snow so far in Portland. But what surprises me, guys, is if we verify our forecast tonight, we'll get knocked out of the top five least snowy, just with an inch. Oh, wow. So, that, like, inch 1.1. So that's kind of crazy. I would have thought it would, you know, we'd still be in the running there because February is typically, it's a tough month for us as far as snow goes. Um, all right, now, mid next week, we get in the spring tees again, guys, 40 to 45 degrees, and then we'll see what happens on Friday. We've got a storm around there for sure. If that one turns rain, we, we're going to make it through February with a lot of the state seeing one to three inches of total so snow, weird. which is not a normal thing, <laughs> yeah. of course. Yeah. All right, thanks, Keith.